kind of rain to be squeezed out of those clouds. Here's how things look in the forecast and focus. We continue that sea breeze flow until just a little bit after sunset and then light and variable winds, maybe more of a southwesterly component to the breeze, not too windy overnight and still feeling kind of sultry, especially considering the moisture that gathers at the coast can kind of seep to the north. So it may not be that crisp feeling that you would otherwise expect to see with a clear start to your morning. Of course, it is June, so it's hardly ever crisp around here first thing in the morning. But the point is there's still going to be some dry air influence that keeps the sunshine coming through generally unabated. Maybe a few stray clouds up until about midday. And then we get the effects of a weaker zone here in the eastern Big Bend that allows the sea breeze to maybe cause a few more clouds to build and that can spark off a few showers. So the rain coverage is still going to be limited, maybe 10, if we're lucky, 20% of the region, mostly in eastern focus, and perhaps maybe an isolated storm that can pop up briefly in the Three Rivers area of the western Big Bend. But still, the main weather headline tomorrow will be the air temperatures at or above 100 away from the coast, and the heat index values, they'll be just slightly above the actual air temperatures, except where we have that infusion of extra moisture here in the eastern Big Bend and along the coast. We can have a period of time when those feels like apparent temperatures can get upwards of 106, 108, or even 110 in the far southeastern Big Bend. If showers start to pop and thunderstorms form, that can cause cooling, but with actual air temperatures forecast to be around 100 to maybe as high as 104, that is the reason behind the heat advisory that will be in effect starting at 9 o'clock tomorrow morning, continuing right through the daylight hours until 8 o'clock in the evening. Overnight lows just before dawn, they will be in the mid 70s. And here are those hot temperatures across the state line in southwestern Georgia. Many areas at or above 100, maybe as high as 104 or even 105. The all-time record for Tallahassee is 105. I don't think we get there tomorrow, but we can tie the record at 103. West to southwest winds for boaters. Watch for a stray shower or storm, especially on the eastern flank of the Big Bend. Friday, a few more of those afternoon showers. They may even persist into the evening, forming kind of late in the day, so that means 100 degrees is within reach once again. That's going to be it for the heat. More rain and a typical thunderstorm cycle into next week. That makes highs 92 to 94.